Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal. I want to talk about why I made a partial switch from ICICI Multi Asset Fund to ICICI Guild Fund. These are investments for my son's future. Uh, I'm going to explain why I did it when I did the rebalance. But before that, uh, I have just now published this article why affected Franklin investors should vote yes in the e vote that's going to be held between 26th to 29th of December. Please vote yes for fund closure and move on. Don't listen to people who fear monger and vote no. You lose a lot of money if you do that. You have the potentially you could lose a lot of money if you do that. Please vote yes. At the very least, you will get whatever is encashed and gradually it will be disbursed uh, as and when the other bonds mature. Uh, I don't know why people would want to vote no. It just makes no sense. All right. So I had talked about uh, my new Facebook group uh, called uh, um, Profit from Content Writing. This is a free Facebook group. You can join with the link in the description or in the first comment. I have now added two videos. It's about an hour long in total about it's a, a content creation tutorial about how you can write effective content. Uh, so do join the group and uh, check out the videos uh, this uh, weekend. All right. So let's get to this. Now, uh, like I said, I have rebalanced my son's future portfolio. It was 67%. Uh, the portfolio was almost 11 years old and I had only about uh, um, seven and a half, eight years to go before the first redemption. So I found, uh, I think it was, I was just lucky to hold 67% uh, and I got away with it. 60% plus and got away with it. So I reduced that 67% to almost 54%. So that was a big chunk. Some of it I put into ICICI arbitrage and some of it I put into ICICI guilt fund. Usually um, the previous redemptions, I had done some three redemptions before. I, what I used to do was to take the money and put it into PPF accounts. I have two PPF accounts as well for this. One is my in my son's name and one I opened uh, in my mother's name. I use that for her tax saving as well. Uh, she stays with us, she gets a pension. So uh, it's all that money is fungible in that sense. And uh, in the previous rebalances, I had rebalanced from equity to PPF. But uh, uh, this year, uh, there's not much scope because I had already invested enough in those PPF accounts and there's not much I can invest to uh, uh, within that 1.5 lakh limit. So there's not much I could do. So I uh, had a, I had to choose another um, investment. My thought process is this. Uh, I thought if I put too much money into arbitrage, I thought that might be, uh, I might lose out on a potential uh, slightly higher return. I might get what, uh, five to 7% in an arbitrage. I thought if I have a chance for something higher than that, or at least six, seven to 8%, then why not, uh, uh, you know, use it. But I didn't want to use any uh, dynamic asset allocation kind of funds because they keep changing their investment strategy. And also it's quite risky in terms of, uh, uh, you know, market crashes and so on. So I didn't want that kind of risk. I didn't want any other kind of hybrid fund. I wanted a debt fund, but uh, a liquid fund, overnight fund, money market fund. Again, there'll be like arbitrage only in terms of returns and, uh, uh, you know, the volatility profile. So I wanted to take on a little bit more risk than that but not too much risk. So I was looking for a debt fund uh, that doesn't have any credit risk because I don't want that happening in this environment and especially for something as important as my son's goal, uh, son's future goal. And uh, so I thought, so the only two options was one, choose a 10 year uh, constant maturity guilt and uh, use the normal guilds. Now 10 year constant maturity for a eight year redemption, that's first redemption that's close to eight years or less than eight years, it's a little too volatile. So I didn't want that. Uh, so therefore I chose, I was looking for a guilt fund and I always had ICSA guilt on my radar. I mean, as an analyst or whatever, I just had it on my ra radar and then I thought, let me dig uh, deeper into it. Before I talk about it, I want to point out that I have experience investing in guilt funds because my uh, government NPS, which is mandatory, uh, is 11 years old and uh, it's full of guilts, long term guilts, which is extremely volatile. So I am very well aware of the risk that investing in guilds have. Most investors don't have this kind of experience. They don't understand how guild funds work. So for them, please don't invest in ICICI guild fund looking at this video. It can be uh, very, very dangerous. It can be very risky for you. I can handle that risk for my goal. More importantly, my goal can handle this volatility or risk. Therefore, I have invested in 
if uh, this is not the case for you then you should not now sebi says that 80% of a guild fund uh, other than a 10 year maturity guild should have uh, other uh, can, uh, should be guilds uh, 20% can be other bonds but i don't want those other bonds to be corporate bonds or any kind of risky bonds so i first looked at the asset allocation history of icici guild fund you can see from here i probably can push this into the next uh, so there you have you have uh, treasury bills which is blue government securities which is orange cash management which is somewhere too small to be seen then uh, then there is a cash or cash equivalents that is the derivatives and so on uh, that's the uh, that's the cash management here so basically it doesn't have any kind of corporate holdings corporate bond holdings uh, uh, i mean at least uh, long term risky corporate bond is not there uh, for the last uh, 10 years or so and the next thing i saw was the modified duration of the fund so this modified duration basically is the uh, is a is a measure of risk but it is measured in years so higher the modified duration higher will be the portfolio maturity average portfolio maturity and higher will be the change in the now when interest rates change so the sensitivity uh, of the now to the interest rates will be higher higher the modified duration you can see the modified duration has uh, swung uh, considerably from uh, practically almost uh, less than 1 or 0 to all the way to about 11 and uh, this is because the fund follows here it is basically a dynamic guild fund it aggressively follows a debt valuation strategy which they publish every month in their fact sheets i, I will show that in uh, in another image and uh, so what they will do is when they believe that the rates will not increase anymore and uh, when the rates have peaked and are about to fall then they will invest in long duration guild funds because if the rates are about to fall newer uh, bonds will have lower interest rate and the existing bonds will be more valuable and the now will push up but when the rates are at the bottom and they are about to increase uh, like at the present time then they will uh, move to the short of duration uh, bonds uh, because uh, there the interest rate in, in, sorry the interest rate sensitivity will, will, will be lower and they will not f uh, be affected as much as long duration bonds when the interest rates increase also soon they will mature and then you can buy the new bonds which have got a higher um, you know the uh, maturity uh, uh, sorry the higher coupon rate higher interest rate so that's the kind of dynamic duration play that this fund will go, uh, will uh, do uh, i use a tool called asmf to get this information but if you you can just use randomly look at fact sheets and get this information or just download random fact sheets and uh, that's the only way you can do if you don't want to get uh, if you want to don't want to use paid data so this is the um, debt fund valuation um, uh, index which they use they have all sort of uh, gold one year real estate one year gsec blah 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 I, I don't care about it for the moment so it's going to be it, it will be volatile uh, 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 but it may not be as volatile as the um, 10 year constant maturity because it's uh, uh, modified duration can go about 10 years but can be below that as well these are the five year rolling returns and you can see the blue line which is the guild fund has bet the uh, Crystal 10 year guilt index. Please remember this is a regular plan, so the direct plan will do a little bit better than this. So that's about it, and I that's the reason why I have uh, made a partial switch. I still continue to invest in ICICA multi asset, I will still invest more in it, but my asset allocation has changed. So that's all I have to say. Um, before I uh, quit, uh, consider joining the Facebook group, read the post on Franklin. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.